Geometry has a lot of terms, uh, terms like conjecture and postulate and theorem. And this problem is all about getting to know what those terms actually mean and how to use them. This list over here on the left is the thing you're going to need to answer questions like these. So I would say make sure you grab a screenshot of this list and, uh, and keep it by your side when you're doing these problems. Let's go through these one by one. Uh, first of, is a definition. And that should be pretty obvious. A definition is just a formal statement that describes what something is, just like the definition of a word in a dictionary. In geometry, you define uh, something by stating what it is. A conjecture, you know, a conjecture is a fancy word for guess. So a conjecture in geometry is something that you don't know whether or not it's true yet. You, it might be true, you're working on proving it, but you're not sure yet. Hasn't been figured out. So that's a conjecture. A postulate is something that's been accepted as true without needing any proof. It's just one of those things that everybody agrees on because it seems obvious to everybody and it seems to work out. So that's a postulate. It's something you don't have to prove, just something that's accepted as true. A theorem is what happens with a conjecture after you go to the work of proving it. It's some statement that's been proven to be true by arguments that everybody can agree on. And then finally, an undefined term is just one of those things in geometry that um, is what it is, like a point. Uh, we can't really prove why a point is a point. We just decide to agree on a point, and uh, it's that thing. It's an undefined term. Point and line and plane are uh, the three undefined terms you're going to hear a lot about in geometry. Okay, so let's go through this problem and see if we can match these words, these terms, to their correct uses. A says, Miguel is trying to prove a statement about all prime numbers that he believes is true. No proof of the statement exists. This statement is best, best described as what? So he's trying to prove it. He hasn't proven it yet. That's exactly what a conjecture is. So let's, um, let's draw some lines here. So this is a conjecture. B says Aldo proved a certain statement about polynomial functions. So he had a conjecture and he proved it. The statement is just best described as what? Well, that's what a conjecture becomes when you prove it is a theorem. So this is a theorem. All right, C says Kira wrote a proof that included the following statement. The statement formally describes what a right triangle is. A right triangle is a triangle with one right angle. This statement is best described as what? Well, that is a definition, and hopefully that's easy to recognize. Um, when they say the statement formally describes what a right triangle is, that's a definition. All right, Kayla wrote a proof that included a certain statement. The statement is not a definition, but is accepted as true without any proof, and those are those things called postulates. When you accept something, it's true without having to prove it. That's a postulate. And finally, Donna read a proof in a textbook that included a statement about points. Point is best described as what? And that is the undefined term. Uh, you're looking for point, line, or plane to pop up there. Those are the undefined terms. So that's a little bit of work with these terms from geometry.